Hello everyone, welcome back to the video series of the object oriented programming with Java. Our today's topic for this particular video that is the exception handling mechanism with the example. I am an instructor Mr. Ankit Patel. So let us see first of all what are the different mechanism available, uh, what are the different exception handling mechanism in the Java. So uh, these are the try catch block is there, then the multiple catch is there then the nested try catch is there, finally block is there, throw and throw is there. So these are the different mechanism and I will explain all this mechanism with the live programming. So without wasting so much time, let us start the programming. Now in this session, I will show you the example of the exception handling mechanism. So first I will show you about the, uh, the first example that is about the try catch block. So let's start. I am creating the one class that is the demo class is there. I have already stored this particular file with the demo.java. So next the public static void bin is there. Then we are passing the string of hives is there. <coughs> so next I am just using a two variable a and b and c is there. I am just assigning value a is equals to 10, b is equals to 0 and c is equals to a divided by b. We all know that this will generate some type of error in the programming. But I am not handling this type of situation right now. I am just displaying the output system dot out dot I am just passing printing the value here c that is equals to and let's close it down let's run this particular code again java c demo dot java and java demo this will generate a exception so this type of exception is an unchecked exception that's why it automatically generate the exception we are not handling this exception but still compiler will automatically sorry the GVM will automatically display the output like exception in the thread main java dot length dot arithmetic exception divided by zero. The message will be printed automatically. But now you suppose if you want to find out the specific error messages there, then the protected code is only the C divided by. So that place that particular code in the try. After the try, I am just put it out catch. Now in a catch, I am passing the class of the specific class that you are thinking about that this is divided with the 0. So I think this arithmetic exception will be generated. Just write down the arithmetic exception. Then name of the object, I am just passing here E. And you can just print it any message that you want to print. I am just printing over here arithmetic exception is generated right now if you run this code at the same time this message will be printed like first of all I am compiling then run the arithmetic exception is generated. So whatever the message that you are passing the uh, catch block that message will be displayed not the inbuilt message will be. So you can understand in your course uh, this is uh, only uh, just 15-16 uh, uh, line code. Now if you are talking about the if the 100 line, 200 line, 500 line code is there. So uh, whenever the runtime error is generated the programmer is confused that where the error is actually generated. So you can easily uh, just uh, use the try case block and pass according to your message so you can easily generate it that uh, understand that uh, what type of error and where the actually error is generated so let's take the another example that is of the multiple catch so i am just creating over here i am just uh, what i am doing i am just passing the command line argument and passing the dynamic value of a and b so here the value of a is i am not passing a 10 I am just passing a integer integer dot parse int I am converting this 
args of 0. The first argument is for variable a and the second argument for variable b. So you can see I am passing a two parameter. So you need to pass a two comma line argument. If you are not passing that comma line argument, again the compiler will generate and uh, the runtime will generate an exception. So what type of error will be displayed if you are passing only a single argument or if you are passing a zero argument? So that type of error is called as an array index out of bound. Array array index out of bounds exception okay you can pass this type of error message over here so you can easily understand so array index out of bound error is generated now let's run this code again so you can easily understand I am compile that particular file there is no error so now if you run without passing any command line argument the exception is generated error index out of bound error is so we required a two command line argument so you can pass according to message also so now here I am passing suppose I am passing a, a 5 and 2 so 5 divided are 2 answer is so answer will be display but if I am passing only single argument again the error index out of bound generated if I am passing second argument as a zero the arithmetic exception is generated so according to the matching exception the error will be display in the form so hope you understand this example of the multiple catch now next example is of the nested try so here I am what I am doing I am creating a, a nested block over here so I am using just try and I am placing this particular line in the nested try. So this type of message will generate the arithmetic exception. So I am just deleting this line and I am placing over here catch catch. So you can see if the arithmetic exception will generate so the message will be printed like this but if the array, array index out of bound is generated then the message will be printed like this so hope you understand the example let's run it again the output will be the similar there is no difference but I am compile it and run it again array index out of bound if you are dividing a number with the zero then the arithmetic exception is generated so this is example of the nested try catch block now next one that is a simply a finally block so i am just using the finally block over here i am removing the nested try uh, code so this is the actual code for the i have seen you multiple catch program now suppose if you are placed here a finally no need to write down the bracket just write down only the finally and the code that you want to just print it out so I am just write only a single line here that finally block is there finally block so I have uh, written nothing as you can see I have just write only the final block so what do you mean by the final block? as I already told you the exception is generated or not in the protected case doesn't matter the final block is always executed so let's run first of all I am just not generating any exception so I am passing a 2 value 5 comma uh, 2 so the answer will be displayed but the final block is also displayed now if the exception is generated the final block is also generated so what is the use of this final block so I will uh, explain you in the detail in the my uh, later video that what is the exactly use of the final block in IO mostly we are using in a uh, database connection we are using for this specific file you want to close you want to just perform the cleanup activity you need to just write down that particular code in a final block so this is again optional you can use a final block or you can directly write down the line in a next line so that's upon you but that is the use of the final block 
and the next one that is the throws keyword so what is the use of the throws keyword so i am adding one line over here i am adding one line one class over here the class taste is there and one method i am just simply i am adding a division so i am creating a simply c is equals to 5 divided by 0 i am directly generating the exception and i am closing this particular statement closing the class so in a try i am do nothing i am just call that particular method so first you need to just create the object of class test t1 is equals to new test now in this class i am calling this method d obviously the error is generated arithmetic exception now you can also throw over here throws arithmetic exception or you can also throw multiple uh, exception class over here like you want to find the array index out of bounds exception we can also pass a multiple exception class using the comma so here you are running that particular code obviously the output is simply uh, printed like the arithmetic exception message is generated now first of all i am compiling that code now i am run that particular file so arithmetic exception is generated so mostly the, this uh, this throws keyword is using in the check exception check exception what are iu exception is there sql exception is there then uh, interrupted exception is there in the multi threading in iu i am using this i in iu programming i am using this throws i am not using the try catch block because this is a simple form of the handling the exception so uh, this is the use of the throws we are mostly we are using the throws in the method signature suppose if method is generated even in a main you can also throws any exception like you can simply just write down the exception because exception is our main class so if if a main generate any type of error then it will generate an exception but these are the class these are the uncheck exception if you are not writing over here something you are not writing over here you are not writing even you can uh, not writing throws exception you are not writing a try catch block i am just removing this all this line i am not write anything still the message will be display inbuilt message will be display you can see uh, there is some spelling uh, semicolon missing over here i have just removing the bracket you can still see there is no error but if you are run this code the inbuilt message will be display the arithmetic exception so for better understanding of the throws keyword you need to just use a check exception and the check exception i will use in my uh, next video that is uh, for the iu exception uh, for the file management through multi threading okay and the last exception mechanism uh, that is the our throws keyword that is our throw keyword so, so throw keyword is used for the to handle the custom exception now i just want to make a program if my first command line argument is zero then the exception is generated so i am just creating one class that is a zero so if you want to create a, a zero as an exception then that must be a part of the exception so you need to just inherit the main class so that is a part of the extend extend exception i am just only using the a default constructor zero and printing a simple message that is the custom exception so here i am just passing a simple value that is a custom exception now in demo what we need to do we are just i am just uh, checking a if condition over here uh, like 
first of all we need to use a try block within a try i am using a if condition if integer dot parse int integer dot parse int what we are passing args of 0 we are converting that number right is equals to is equals to 0 what we are making we are first of all that convert you can uh, just simply you can write like this also like you can create a one variable a and after that a is equals to just write it down like this so that first command line are going to convert it into 0 and in this particular code just write down only a is equals to 0 if a is equals to 0 then we are throw thro w is there throw new 0 so this will throw a new 0 right and i am just creating a catch accordingly i am just creating a catch here catch i am creating the object of zero class uh, zero just creating the object z and passing the message system dot out dot print align first first argument is zero i am just mess, uh, typing a message like this you can see so what we are making we are making simple try and according to the my requirement i have passed one if condition is there and in if condition i have throw a new zero right let's run this code Suppose if you are not passing any command line argument, right, because you are using this, so this will generate an array index out of bound. I am passing a first command line argument 10, no problem, no error will be generated. But if I am passing a 0, the custom exception is generated, the first argument is 0, right. So hope you understand the what is the exact the use of the throw keyword. You can make up different kind of program. Suppose if any of the command line argument is negative, then generate an exception. You can also make a, this type of program. So that's it from the programming session. So thank you very much. If you have any doubt, you can feel free to ask me. Thank you very much.